I asked 24,000 golfers this question. What's the most important club a beginner golfer should learn? I would say the driver, so you can whack it. If you can't get down the course, then it'll take you all day. Well done, well done. What is the most important club for a beginner golfer? The math. <laughs> you can play it, you know, your long game or your short game. What's the most important club a beginner golfer should master? The putter. The putter. The putter. Well, in my opinion, it's the putter. Uh, I was always taught you learn the game um, from the hole backwards, so that's how you learn to putt first. Welcome back to So Far So Good, where today I'm going to tell you all about the biggest, the biggest, biggest, biggest mistake golfers make. It's using this club instead of this one. Don't believe me? Well, maybe you'll believe these guys. I asked 24,000 YouTube golfers, what was the most important golf club for a beginner golfer? Almost half said, Putter. On a typical 18 hole golf course, there are 10 par fours, four par fives, and four par threes. That means you'll use this club twice as many times as you'll use this club. That means you'll have to get pretty good with this club. Today I'd like to share three tips with you on how you can do that. Number one, practice with gates. Number two, practice lag putting. And number three, practice to build confidence. Most golf courses will have a putting something similar to this. A practice putting where you're not in anyone's way and you can practice the craft of putting for free. Set up gates. Gates will help you get your putter on the right path and hitting from the center. The center of the putter face is very important to start your ball in the right direction. It doesn't really matter where you set up the gates just so long as they're about narrow enough for you to get your golf club through as a challenge, but wide enough so that you don't get too frustrated. When you start off, you can start pretty wide with the gate. The beauty of the gates drill is that you can actually even do it in your own backyard. As long as you have two tees, and a ball. When you first start, don't just get discouraged if you don't make them into the hole. The whole idea is getting the putter face, the center of the putter face, through the gates so that your swing can become repeatable and the hit on the ball can become accurate. At every course you play, practice lag putting. Lag putting just requires a target at the end of the putting green and balls in the putter. All you have to do with this drill is go about 20 yards 
away from your target and try to get the ball to the edge of the green. It's not hard enough. Bingo. Bingo. If you can practice lag putting, knowing the distance between yourself and the edge of the green, how hard you have to swing to get it there, that'll definitely save you on three putts. Build up confidence by making short putts. Just put your foot one foot away from the hole, put the ball down behind it, and continue doing that around the edge of the hole. Make these putts to build up confidence and then move the ball out further, further, and further. Thanks for watching. And if you've made it to the video this far, please consider hitting like and subscribe. A uh, big shout out goes to Chad from the NBA Superstore, who the plus three golfer in this video up here. Uh, we want to thank him. Special happy birthday to my little capybara who stars in this video. She knows who she is.